Pine siskins are extremely social and gregarious little finches that can descend on your feeders by the dozens in winter and early spring before dispersing during the breeding season. Here is an example of a healthy pine siskin. They're fun little birds. If you see a pine siskin that looks all fluffed up and ill-kept like this, you have a sick bird that is usually alone, may appear sleepy and very approachable, and may have trouble flying or even walking. The culprit here is most likely the salmonella bacteria. Birds can die quickly as the salmonella bacteria spreads throughout the body. Abscesses often form in the lining of the esophagus and crop as part of the infection process. Infected birds pass bacteria in their fecal droppings. Other birds get sick when they eat food contaminated by these droppings. Salmonellosis is the most common bird feeder disease. There you go. Salmonella as a disease in birds is relatively rare in the wild, but outbreaks do occur from time to time, and the evidence is often seen at the feeders. Many birds with mild infections can carry the disease without showing any symptoms and simply pass it out in their feces, but the bacteria is still active. When a susceptible individual of an easily infected species like the pine siskin picks up the bacteria, it proliferates quickly in the infected bird's gut and is passed along to the others via the feces. Pine siskins are especially social, allowing easy transmission of the disease. Feeding in close association with one another makes it a certainty that the disease will be passed on to other individuals from an infected one. Once infected, there is little that can be done for the sick siskins, even by a trained wildlife rehabilitator. What should you do with your bird feeders if you see sick birds? It is recommended that feeders be cleaned with a 10% bleach solution, 9 parts water to 1 part bleach, followed by careful rinsing and complete drying before reuse. Clean the areas beneath the feeders as well, bagging the debris to be disposed of in the trash. Siskins can be messy eaters and spill many seeds on the ground. It's inevitable that some of the spilled seeds will be contaminated by feces. It's also recommended that feeding be stopped for two to four weeks to let the birds move on and not get reinfected. Keeping feeders clean is essential, but unfortunately that alone will not prevent the spread of the disease. The bacteria can survive for many months on unclean feeders on the ground, on the plants, or other surfaces. It can be passed on by other birds less susceptible to the disease, by reptiles, mammals, or even some invertebrates. Total prevention is almost impossible. Once brought to a communal feeding area, which can be a feeding area in the wild or a bird feeding station, the disease quickly spreads. Even if you're very efficient about keeping your feeders and feeding area clean, Salmonella may be brought in from surrounding wild areas. Because pine siskins are the most susceptible and because they're so tame and can be numerous at feeders, it is seen in them most often. However, there is nothing wrong with feeding the siskins and this disease is just as frequent in wild areas as it is at feeders. You just see it more easily at the feeders. This form of salmonella can be transferred to humans and is the most common type of food poisoning. It will cause extreme diarrhea and very intense intestinal pain. Death has been known but is, un is uncommon. However, dehydration is typical and may be what ultimately kills the pine siskins. If you handle sick or dead birds or after handling bird feeders where lethargic siskins have been attending, be sure to watch your hands very thoroughly. It's a good practice to wash your hands thoroughly any time you touch the bird feeders, sick birds or not. People who feed birds cannot ignore the disease issue. Eight relatively easy steps can be taken to prevent or minimize disease problems at feeders in the future. Number one, give them space. Avoid crowding by providing ample feeder space. Lots of birds using a single feeder looks wonderful, but crowding is a key factor in spreading disease. Number two, clean up wastes. Keep the feeder areas clean of waste food and droppings. Make feeders safe. Provide safe feeders without sharp points or edges. Even small scratches and cuts will allow bacteria and viruses to enter otherwise healthy birds. 
Keep feeders clean. Clean and disinfect feeders regularly. Use one part liquid chlorine bleach and nine parts tepid water, a 10% solution to disinfect. Make enough solution to immerse in an empty clean feeder completely for two or three minutes. Allow to air dry. Once or twice a month should do, but weekly could help more if you notice sick birds at your feeders. Number five, use good food. Discard any food that smells musty, is wet, looks moldy, or has fungus growing on it. Disinfect any storage container that holds spoiled food and the scoop used to fill feeders from it.